Hey there guys, today we're going to be doing some real talk on how Fluger fishing reels are underrated. So we're going to start first with my bass spinning reel. Um, it is a Fluger Treon 3500. Looks like a pretty good reel, not too expensive at all, 40 bucks I got this for. Um, on, like normally your pen fishing reels their cheapest reel is the pursuit in my opinion this is better and you're paying the same price like this thing is like so smooth like it's smoother than my $150 spin fisher I have that's what I like about it it's like really good quality for 40 bucks and I got it on a ugly stick elite fifty dollar rod so this right here cost me like ninety dollars and it feels like two hundred dollar reel lightweight now this one right here is the Fluger Supreme XT I got this reel for like one hundred fifty bucks good reel and the rod here at Bass Pro for forty bucks so it's like a one hundred ninety dollar combo I know it's more expensive, but right here you can compare this reel to the the Spin Fisher that's about the same price. But what this has that the Spin Fisher doesn't have is the weight. Like it weighs this thing weighs nothing. Really good reel. You can it's a it's a four thousand reel. You could put two hundred fifteen yards or two hundred or not, I've had 215 yards of 12 pound monofilament or fluorocarbon, which I right, they're really good. And this right here is like more bearings than the Spin Fisher as well as 10 bearings. That's like a really good, this is a really good reel. I use Fluger for fresh water because it's like really lightweight, light tackle, you know. Yeah, it's more fun. But this one, I take it to the salt water. I take it to catch yellowtail and snappers. And I'm going to be spooling it with Power Pro, 20 pound, right here, after this video. Well, thank you guys for watching. This is Real Talk, and I'll be making another episode soon.